Okay, this is a very quick instructional video on how to use the CTrader to Discord indicator for CTrader. Um, so let's get straight into it here. Once you've visited the uh, ClickAlgo website and either purchased the trial version of this particular indicator or paid for the indicator in full, you will of course be able to download the Algo and it, which will then sit in your downloads or any other file that you've uh, asked it to save it to. Um, from there, you'll, uh, you'll double click on either one of the uh, two the, the files that you've you've downloaded so for this particular instance we'll choose paid and it's going to ask me then this is C Trader asking me whether I want to install um, the the actual file in this instance because I've already got the program installed uh, it's asking if I want to overwrite it so I'll click yes so just close this down Okay, so that's been successfully installed. So that's now the indicator is now uh, within the the C Trader relevant files. So as you can see here, I have a, a gold um, chart open. Uh, this this particular indicator works on uh, any chart, uh, but just for the reference here, this is for gold. So we're going to go to the the little symbol up here for find indicator. You can obviously type in the name of the indicator, but it's pretty simple unless you've got dozens of, of custom indicators to just go to custom and then choose the relevant um, install. So I'm going to choose this top one because I know it's the paid um, version of this particular indicator. So once I choose this, we get a little pop up screen here um, where it asks me whether I want to, which panel I want to use, so charts or new panel. So you don't need to change this particular function here. The only real thing you need to uh, edit within this particular panel is the webhook URL and I'll demonstrate to you how I do that now so I'm just going to switch my particular indicator to a indicator without a um, certification um, there we go okay so just switching over to discord now so on the right hand side you can see a, uh, a discord test server so your server may look very different to this you may have lots of channels uh, and all you need to basically do is choose the channel where you want this particular indicator to post to. So just something uh, that's quite important that I need to make you aware of. Um, the, the actual indicator notifies based on the, uh, the symbol that it's actually applied to. So in this case here, we're going to be installing this indicator on, on the gold uh, symbol. However, if I wanted to choose, I don't know, perhaps uh, Euro Ord, um, I'll put this again to the one minute. I'd install another, you know, a, a second version of this indicator um, and put a different webhook in here. So if we just go back to the gold channel here, uh, sorry, gold chart here, I'm going to go back through this process. So we're going to first of all put our webhook in here for this particular gold chart. So let's just make this look. A little bit better we're going to call this the gold signals channel save those changes okay so we now have a gold signals channel which is going to reference gold on our charts so we'll click the edit channel function and within here you've got four different options available to you we're going to want to go to integrations and webhooks let me just actually delete this webhook so i can show you exactly how it will look so back to overview, integration, so webhooks there are zero we're currently installed, so we're going to create a webhook. Um, initially Discord will just call the webhook something random, so this one's called SpideyBot. You can go in here and just type um, metals chartbot. You can call it whatever you like obviously. You can give, give it a logo as well, um, I'm just choosing not to in this particular instance. Okay, so we've now named this, the actual uh, webhook is is readily available so we're going to copy that webhook so you can see it's copied we've got a little symbol uh, appear in there one thing to remember is at the very bottom of your discord screen you want to make sure that you now save these changes if you don't do that then the webhook will just disappear so we've now saved it so we can exit out of this so back over to ctrader we can now paste this webhook into the discord webhook url so we're going to right click and hit paste and that webhook now is within here uh, the thumbnail you don't really need to worry about basically this thumbnail is uh, currently a C Trader thumbnail so it will show an image of the C Trader logo however if you did want to insert your own logo into there so it just looks branded within discord you can take a copy of your website's logo 
Um, so just go to your website, right click on the logo itself and copy image URL and paste that in here and that will display on the notifications which I'll show you in just a moment. Okay, so we're all done here, so we're going to click OK. So we can now see, if you look in the top left hand corner of CTrader, we can see that the actual indicator is fully installed and functional as it's listed up here. Um, so how does this now work? So all we need to do uh, from this point is this this particular indicator works off pending trades only. So, um, you know, and this is obviously for a signals base group. So you'd, you'd only be using pendings anyway. So what I mean by that is if I were to double click on this now and um, enter a live trade, um, that wouldn't send a notification to Discord. And that's purposely done that way because we don't want people just seeing that you've entered a live trade and then question what, what on earth's going on. So just to show you how this actually works, I'm going to put a, a sell limit just here and I'll do a buy limit just here. I'm just going to reduce these down so this triggers quicker. So and we'll put a stop loss just here, take profit there and similar for this. And this is just illustrative at the moment just to show you how a trade trigger will work and how a stop loss or take profit will work and how it shows from a notification standpoint within Discord itself. So again, I'm just going to reduce these trade um, entry points. This is just to speed up the process of uh, having the trade action uh, or trigger, I should say. So we're just going to wait for this to... There you go. Okay, so we have a trigger now. So we've just got, had a buy that's, gone long, uh, that, that's been entered here. So we can see within Discord, and it was immediate trigger, that we have Metal's chart uh, bot. It was a long trade entry one live, and I'll describe what the one means in a minute. Um, it's on the gold chart, and the entry price is 1935.4, and it was a buy. We can also have a secondary pending, which a lot of signals providers will do, and that's because sometimes they'll have an area of interest, uh, meaning that you might enter at 1935.35, but also 1935.30. So the reason you have tr long trade entry one live, that tells your entire group that the first entry uh, has triggered. Okay, so, and then once obviously this one triggers down here, which we might see in just a moment actually. Let's see. Hopefully it does because I'd like you to see how the trade entry two works as well. It looks like it's not gonna give it us, which is fine. Um, so what once that, once this is triggered now, we can see that the, the, the color on the left-hand side is gray, stating that there is a, a pending trade. This is the logo I was referring to. Okay, so this is a, this is a good timing now as well. So we've got a long trade entry one go live and now a short trade entry lo, uh, go live. Now that, um, that long has now hit profit. So we can see obviously it's turned green. So this particular long here, it's telling us has now taken profit. So that was the entry price, it was a buy, this was the close price and it did 12 pips. Okay, so now we've got a long entry to go live. So as we just mentioned, we just we just placed a long entry or another long entry on the on the chart. That's now gone live. And what I can do here is I can put a stop loss here, take profit here, and we'll see if we hit a stop loss because I would like to illustrate how that looks as well. In fact, let's close this off manually and give ourselves a stop loss. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we close that in negative. So it's given us a red notification stating that it was a buy that went went wrong. We had minus four pips from that and it closed at this price. We can also do the same for this one here. We'll just double click. So if, if I'm, I'm gonna close this now and because it was in the positive, it was obviously actually break even, but that will class as a positive, uh, that's now closed. So we now have no trades that are either pending or live on our current chart here. Um, our bot has told Discord uh, about the trade. So entered here, entered here, we took profit. We entered trade entry two, we took a loss, and we took a profit on this one here as well. So that gives you a, a very brief overview. Um, you can obviously install this indicator. So this, this indicator is installed on this current um, gold chart here. If you were to open another gold chart um, and you had pendings listed, you wouldn't get multiple notifications but you would obviously still, as norm, normal, see multiple trades on this chart. So if you're if you're trading on this particular chart here, if I just put a sell limit, that will also show on this chart. 
I'm on the one hour so it's quite hard to see but as you can see it's duplicated if I wanted to um, now place this indicator on another chart so perhaps rather than metals or gold signals channel I want a forex channel I'd need to have another channel in place so this would be my forex signals channel so I'm going to create that channel and I'm going to go through the same steps I'm going to edit I'm going to go to integrations webhooks change the name to forex bot just for this name copy the webhook save I'm going to go to back to my euro or because it's a forex pair I'm going to go to my indicator and I'm going to place my webhook in there and hit OK and now any trades on this particular chart or forex pairs will go straight into this particular channel so forex signals so that gives you a full overview um, please do leave this um, uh, reviews as and when you purchase and use it and of course if you come across any issues at all um, make sure you post those uh, within the um, relevant pages on the ClickAlgo website and we'll be sure to get it fixed and get updated versions out to, to you guys as soon as possible. Thank you for your time and um, have fun with it.